Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is a uh, premature sneak preview of the construction worker. I was hoping to have much more done, but I had some uh, electrical programming and uh, mechanical setbacks this week. So, because um, it's been a couple weeks since I've updated my blog, um, here's where I'm at. First off, I want to thank everybody that submitted some voice talent for the construction worker. As you can see, he's very far from cosmetically done. This is just a test mask to make sure that the geometry of the face and the mouth movements were correct. Um, I have the control system built for the construction worker, powered by Haunt Bots. Thank you very much, Pete, for the couple hours or more of tech support he uh, gave me in getting this system up and running. And for those of you that ever want to build your own animatronic, I can tell you Haunt Bots rocks. Um, very nice system, very easy to use. Um, had some electrical problems with my Mac valves. That was a wiring situation. And then once I got everything running and I was programming the animation, um, the uh, robot got to rocking so much it fell over on its side and I snapped the top off of a couple air cylinders. As you can see, that's not supposed to move freely. So... Um, what I do is as I'm building the robots and testing them out, I bolt their feet to flat pieces of wood, which, as you can see, being as narrow as they are, don't really hold the weight of the robot when his arms get to swinging around. Um, I used the voice submitted by Rick Davis for the test of the construction worker. Uh, thank you very much, Rick, for recording that for us. Um, Rick Davis is the president of Daffy who's also helped me over the years with this project. Um, uh, this is not the final script for the construction worker, but this did help motivate me for uh, getting the animation done. So without further ado, folks, you're taking off at night go out for a drive. I hate to tell you this, the bridge has washed out. There's trees down on that road behind you. You can either wait here with me till the road's open or find another way around. My partner Nick drove down that road over there, but I haven't heard from him since. Must be having radio problems. Well, if you got your mind set on trying, be careful. If you see Zeke, you tell him I need some help back here. Once again, thanks for everybody that keeps me motivated, and uh, stay tuned for more.